Welcome everyone, I am your host, FD907, and we're live today with And today's tournament is going to be one exciting turn of events here. This is our uh a week back after the break from last week, so I apologize about the uh the last week break that we had. But you know, it's some good time to I get some rest, refresh my mind a little bit, and also uh, <laughs> get things set, you know, for next week as well. We've got some big things coming up here at VTV, so, you know, we want to keep preparing and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> never want to be too complacent with the preparation process that we've got going on for y'all in the next upcoming months for the uh, <laughs> for our term of events here. So, I'm going to go over the announcements real quick first and then uh, talk about some of the tournament rules and whatnot as we go along here in a little bit. So just give me a second here, folks, as I can uh, so I can readjust my stuff here. All right, let's see. Just make sure that's going on well and uh, get to blow my nose real quick. All right, so <laughs> let me just take down the uh, the screen here for now. Tetris Tuesday poster so we can get to uh, today's uh, tournament uh, announcements before we go and head on to the uh, main tournament so the first announcement that I want to make is actually quite important you know first of all folks uh, <laughs> first of all we are looking for new uh, Tetris staff here at Tetris Tuesdays to help us out especially with uh, bracket editing uh, since uh, all of our bracket editors or most of them have uh, retired at this point or uh, have gone to do things since they're busy uh, more busy now uh, for Tuesdays so some of the uh, the staff have retired some you know we add new staff as well but we're definitely looking for uh, more people for the bracket editing uh, roles there just need at least one uh, more person but as many applicants are uh, welcome so to apply to become a Tetris staff and help out with the Tetris uh, Tuesday events and tournaments, if you want to find out more about that as well, uh, just go ahead and DM me on the t uh, on the Discord uh, DMs there. So if you, that's something like you uh, feel, feel like something that's, that's what we want to do, and uh, feel like you want to help out with the the wonderful Tetris Tuesday events, feel like you can uh, you know contribute uh, on that on that set or on that standpoint. Just feel free to always DM and we'll get to the application process for <laughs> the uh, Tetris Tuesday staff role. Uh, they will, I show a lot of love to the uh, Tetris staff, you know, so you'll be in good hands here. Just a uh, great staff team, you know, a lot, of, a lot of laughs and drinks together. Well, not too many drinks, but you know, <laughs> I try my best. But anyway, that's the first announcement. The second uh, <laughs> as well is uh, next week we'll be doing uh, our monthly Tetris Tuesday team tournament. So uh, that means on June 11th, that'll be our uh, Tetris Tuesday team tournament. To find out more info about that as well, just be sure to uh, look at the Discord as well. I'll be posting more information about that on the Tetris Tuesday info and FAQ section on a Discord server as well. And the last but very most important announcement actually for us today before we get started in today's events and tournament is the VTV Summer Splash 2019. For those of you who don't know, Summer Splash is a four-day uh, gaming charity marathon here at VTV where we help uh, support the charity of our choice. This year we're going with Help Hope Live. Uh, help Hope Live is a charity that helps uh, fundraise for people uh, with uh, catastrophic in in injuries and illnesses or, you know, transplants that they cannot afford to uh, fund or, you know, pay for. So it helps them, uh, helps promote them having better, um, better lives and helping them hope to live much longer and, uh, you know, promoting their health and their well-being through this amazing charity, Help Hope Live. So, um, so what we do pretty much in the Summer Splash um, <laughs> every six months or, you know, we do a charity marathon for Summer Splash, 
at July 15th to the 19th. So that means for four days straight here on this channel, you will see different uh, streamers taking different time slots as we uh, have a lot of incentives and challenges uh, to do during our different time slots and just a bunch of random games that we uh, that the uh, individual streamers will choose to play uh, during their time slot. So you get to see a lot of variety uh, in this marathon and a lot of uh, great talented casters out there. So I cannot wait to... Uh, you know have this event going on and you definitely don't want to miss the summer splash one of our biggest events of the year uh so once again this starts at noon pst i'm going to be the one who's starting it by the way so i'm also uh glad to be kicking this off here as well so once again uh vtv summer splash 2019 from july 15th to the 19th the four day charity marathon here on this channel that you do not want to miss it's going to be wonderful and benefiting help hope live so stay tuned for that. We do have announcements on the, uh, if you look in the Discord, there's announcements underscore events page. You will see the Discord there and uh, get to see how uh, you can, you know, uh, sign up to be a streamer on this marathon or you can uh, retweet us out at Variety TTV. Uh, there's a pin post on the uh, Twitter page about this marathon. You can like and retweet it uh, just to spread the word out there. So we'll talk more about that after the, uh, at the tournament. But just wanted to bring that to your attention. That's the last announcement that we have before today's tournament so once again summer splash definitely an event that you don't want to miss so now let's go to the uh official tournament entries here all right so definitely we have a lot of action today on js trust i thought it was uh not very active but yeah there is a lot of smaller rooms since it got split up a lot of people on today so that actually means there's more than i would have thought but it's all good though. So let's uh let's take a look to see if we have the uh Tetris browser up today. There we go. So it's all good to go. And the tournament browser, which is challenge brackets, we'll <laughs> make that live in a minute. So uh first of all, you know, I want to tell y'all, do not be uh, you know, don't be uh nervous for the tournament. It's all it's all good and fun. Just uh have fun. Do your best and always improve or to improve every week if you're, you know, not happy with the results that you've gotten there. So uh, today, though, we're going to take a look at the uh, the brackets here for a second. So before we go ahead and get started, let's take a look. Uh, these are the final brackets here. Uh, seated uh, people are always seated by their sprint times, for line sprint times on any of the Tetris, uh, modern Tetris games out there uh, that are <laughs> like one the major games, I should say. So, to look at uh, today's brackets, you can always do an exclamation mark bracket. Uh, okay, Fizzle, you can do a last second entry. Um, Alright, let's do that. Let's see. Just, since you just now joined, uh, you'll be you're right below Salubris there on that seating. Um, GG, hold on. <laughs> Gotta reset the bracket. Hold on a second here. Oh boy. Fizzle, you just came just in time because uh, we otherwise would have got started there. But that is the absolute last entry that we will be accepting in today's tournament. Uh, another one of those uh, tournament rules where I will make exceptions sometimes. If you know, if you're an active user in the Tetris tournament, uh, you know here at VTB, and you know we can always make exceptions for you if you have to join late and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, now we have the 14-person bracket here. Um, and we'll take a look at how this looks. Once again, exc exclamation mark bracket to look at today's bracket and the tournament. And Moobot will give you a lovely little link here. So let's uh, let's uh, take a look at this before we go to the actual uh, Tetris browser here. We have here are the seedings here: uh, Mystery and Romian, with the first two seeds having a buy in the first round. So that is going to be. Uh, an interesting bracket that we have here today. We have some new faces here, um, new faces and returning faces that I haven't seen in a while. So that's good to see. So let's uh, let's go to the uh, Tetris browser now and uh, open this right up for a second. So what we do is create a room called uh, <laughs> VTV uh, Tournament. So that's the room that you're going to enter, VTV Tournament. There is a two-player limit, of course, for the 1v1s. Uh, and then default settings. So let's go ahead and create that room now. Uh, if you join, please spectate as we will discuss the tournament rules a little bit, uh, just briefly. Uh, so 
for each tournament, you have a chance to warm up with your opponent, but you can skip the warm up if you want. Uh, each match is a best of three until the semifinals, in which it becomes a best of five. <laughs> That's how that will work out there. So, pretty easy and simple, but let's go and uh, look at the first two people in the bracket here today. We have Rudabega here versus Mr. FAQ, and I believe... Okay, yeah, he... Okay, never mind, that mess on Discord was just about the lobbies. Okay, so, uh, Rudabega and uh, FAQ will be coming up in the first match of the first round, the 8th eighth versus the ninth seed. So let's go and take a look at what we have here. I need to just uh, update my little screen here to make sure this is a bit... Oh, have I specced? <laughs> my bad. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and... Uh, but a show HQ, show stats, in percent there. So we're waiting for uh, the opponents here. Or wait, <laughs> so who's the first two in the back? So we have Rudabega and Mr. FAQ will be the first two people facing off in that bracket. So uh, Rudabega and FAQ, please go ahead and uh, join the room. All right. So we'll give them uh, about a minute. If they both do not show up for this match, we'll just go ahead and skip right into uh, Afficible versus ROD or ROD, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to say ROD because uh, it sounds like uh, an esports name. <laughs> so uh, I guess they're probably not going to show up here soon. Uh, Rudabaker uh, versus FAQ. So we'll see what happens here in this uh, lobby. Still waiting for... So... Uh, FAQ seems to not be here. Yeah, they have mentioned I think that they're going to be late actually. So never mind. Let's skip that match. And we're going to go to the uh, go to Afizipo versus Rod Ten or ROD Ten. So Afizipo versus ROD or Rod. So <laughs> Rod Ten versus Afizipo is actually going to be the first match of today's tournament. Like I said, best of three. Um, so first person to two wins, obviously, and you do have an option to warm up in the match. So ROD versus uh, Afizible is going to be the first match of today's Tetris Tuesday tournament. So let's go ahead and have both join the room. Everyone else is expected to spectate if you are in the game lobby. All right, so let's take a look here. So ROD being one of the uh, <laughs> the first time competitors here at Tetris Tuesday. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to see, you know, what kind of things that we will to be expecting here uh in this matchup and also I, I do recommend if you are in the in the tournament and you have bad internet you can go ahead and mute the stream or uh, pause the stream while you are playing uh to give yourself some better uh you know connection to the server and whatnot but if your internet is well you know and you still want to watch me commentate while you play uh you can uh feel free to do so but just do what works best for your internet just to uh just have to remind people out there because sometimes uh, <laughs> uh that might be an issue with their with their stuff but as we can see here you know, as far as, you know, the match uh, goes in this warm-up right now, coming into the match, uh, we see that Afizipal does have um, one a bit, a bit of the experience advantage from playing these tournaments a lot before, uh, being a high finisher in the past, uh, making some great tournament placements, uh, you know, in the semifinals, even in the finals as well, and also um, having the speed advantage. So it is, uh, <laughs> it is quite a high advantage here on Afizipal's side, but it seems like you know, Rod 10 could still um, make some good strategies happen as well. Rod 10, I, I was I forgot what this run time was. I believe um, it was probably was 116, but you can still make some things happen as long as you can counter play. Some of the best things that you can do, you know, if your opponent is, you know, um, has the speed advantage is you know sprint or speed advantage, and the way they kind of skim down uh, quick uh, quicker and burn quicker, you can just uh, set up some nice counter plays as well. For them, but it seems like it was a bit too much uh, from Afizipal's side, so that's going to be a 1-0 uh, lead into this series. So, that means Afizipal does have match point here, and if he wins this match, he'll move on into the second round of today's tournament. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 
as we can see um after we're going to set up with that uh <laughs> those triple t spins two triple t spins in a row coming into a uh a DT cannon there as well. Uh, great synergy from Absible just putting up way too much garbage, overwhelming our um, ROD at the last minute there. Nice clutch play, and that means Absible is going to move on 2 0 in the tournament onto round number two. So that means in the bracket, you can go ahead and see here that, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, just I forgot to remind y'all folks, remind you folks, but also uh, if you are new here, you don't know how to look at the brackets. Just do exclamation mark brackets, and you will see how the match tournaments are going. So, GG for Afrizis both taking on that first uh, match there in the tournament. So, it seems like FAQ is here and ready to go. So, we're going to go for Rutabaga versus FAQ up next here with the 8th versus the, eighth versus the ninth seed. So, this is going to be an, an interesting match here as well. So, both uh, the, uh, the first attended match is going to now play here. Uh, Rudebega versus FAQ. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the, uh, <laughs> the lobby is going. All right. So just uh, you know, as they were up here, I just want to make some a uh, few comments. Like I said before, it is very interesting to see um, and lovely to see some of the um, <laughs> original or uh, Tetris Tuesday OGs back. Uh, days are especially uh, days are D million. Uh, both being some two of those people. Who have been around for quite a while um, since the first season of Tetris Tuesday when we used to play on Tetris Friends. So to see kind of the, uh, the OGs coming back a little bit and uh, competing with us again is uh, quite, uh, it gets us quite in the feels, touching our hearts all around. So we're glad to see you all back coming in for another Tetris Tuesday as well. Uh, but let's go back to the uh, tournament screen here. If I can. Uh, so they are so the war, the warm up is now over. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I need to blow my nose real quick before we go. All right, so it seems like uh, Rudebega was going for that BT opener, uh, BT cannon, but it didn't seem to go on quite well. The overhang was not set up correctly. So FAQ going to take advantage of that uh, of that early um, miss drop there and just going to capitalize on this play here while Rudebega has to uh, do some digging and burn through the mistake there. And that's just an unfortunate start there for Rudebega. Going to uh, give up that first round. And that's going to be a 1-0 series lead so far for Mr. FAQ. It seems like uh, Rudebega is now going to set up that opener right this time, and that's going to set up uh, quite a bit of damage onto uh, Mr. FAQ. And there he goes again with that uh, cannon, uh, followed by a little bit of a fractal there, and that's going to be a huge spike coming in from Rudebega. Just a bit too much uh, damage from those gar uh, garbage lines coming into FAQ, and now the series is going to be tied 1-1. One one. And this is now match point, a very quick series, but very close between both players. And not really want to have any uh, advantage over speed, but Rudebega just doing a, a wonderful job of uh, having sort of the, uh, you know, having those setups that will deal a lot more damage and overwhelm your opponent with those garbage lines. So uh, Rudebega able to take that line, uh, the line set advantage, uh, despite kind of having similar um, APMs and whatnot, because the setups do um, are geared towards setting up, you know, more lines. So you know, Rudebega just doing a great job. Of setting in uh, that damage there. I'm going to take that series 2-1. to one. So GG. Rudebega. Taking on. That first round. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> there goes a 2-1 and one victory there for, for Rudebega. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tournament brackets. Like I said. Uh, do exclamation mark bracket. To uh... <laughs> You know to see the tournament brackets updated live as well and also i forgot to mention be sure to tweet us out using hashtag tetris tuesday at variety ttv uh to let people know about today's tournament so next up is salubris versus argentino that is going to be the next match coming up here in today's tournament so let's go ahead and see how that's going to go the fifth versus 12th seed now argentino is uh another another uh tetris tuesday uh, rookie here as well, making their debut today on Tetris Tuesday uh, for VTV. So it's, uh, we're glad to see Argentino being one of the uh, the newest uh, <laughs> competitors here at Tetris Tuesday, doing us in the lobby. <laughs> I 
Argentino. All right. So anyway, let's go. Uh, <laughs> I feel I feel very cringy saying uh, Argentino like this, but I feel like you know for for some of the audience I kind of kind of have to for a you know you know but it's it's all good. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that uh, to that discussion there. But anyway, uh, Slubers versus Argentino uh, gonna be coming up here next. We are waiting for Salubris to come up in this uh, in this next spot. So if Salubris, it, he's probably uh, warming up at the moment. So if that's the case, we can just go ahead and skip to the next match. <laughs> uh, so so it seems like Mystery has got a sprint PB. <laughs> Uh, by 1.7 seconds, so let's give a hand to the mystery as well. That's just some uh, breaking news. <laughs> um, I'm, there is no, uh, there is no S that I'm putting in there at all. Oh, uh, I know how to pronounce it right, but <laughs> my nose is too clogged up to do that. All right, believe it or not, people actually. Fun fact: uh, FD is actually Panamanian. So, you know, I know it doesn't sound like it at all, but you know, <laughs> for the uh, for the particular audience uh, for uh, VTV, they are mostly English and whatnot. So I try to you know match my pronunciations to that as well. But anyway, um, so Slubris is up next, right? Let's take a look at the brackets. My bad, folks. I'm getting carried away. Uh, so. Slubris and Argentino's up next, uh, but it seems like they are not joining the room. So we're going to skip that match for now and uh, come back to it later. So Dazer versus Mikami is going to be the uh, next match in the tournament. So Dazer and Mikami joining the matchup next. I want to make one more thing clear. Once you uh, actually lose the, uh, if you lose the uh, <laughs> the round here, uh, make sure you play your match out in the, in the lower brackets and re report your scores to us in the Discord server. So we can get your scores updated uh, as we will uh, later on stream the lower brackets uh, starting at about round four or three. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But please uh, play out your matches separately in the lower brackets and report your scores. And we'll tell you uh, where to go from there. But anyway, days are in me can be coming up next here. I believe they are doing a, war a warm up right now. So this is how... Uh, <laughs> It seems to be going now. Uh, somebody please uh, ping Salubris to be uh, ping Salubris to join uh, their match here uh, soon as well. If Salubris comes, uh, if Salubris does end up uh, coming in at some point, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so by the looks of this, uh, you know the warm up here as well. We we can kind of see. Uh, <laughs> You know the strategy is not being too complex. I think they're just trying to get the uh, trying to get the nerves out right now. Not not really re revealing anything that they're going to uh, you know be using in particular in this uh, in this tournament here or in this uh, in this match. Just getting the juices out and flowing. So uh, not much for the warm up to watch here. Uh, usually the warm ups do not really tell the story of how the match is going to go. But you know sometimes it can give you uh, an idea of what they might be wanting to do or you know uh, some of the goals that they might be wanting to achieve. Coming up to the match. So here we go. Good luck, have fun, and Dazer and Make Me coming up here next. So here is the uh the next match for both players. So Make Me needs to uh get the match started. Uh soft dropping an AFK. So Make Me is now soft dropping here. Uh <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh Make Me just uh, went away from the mouse for a bit, but here we go. So make me with that clear uh, PC opener right there, and that is a huge advantage in the early game for make me. I don't know if y'all saw that, but that was uh, just executed perfectly there, and a great play. But still, uh, unfortunately, it's not going to do much as Dazer is able to uh, down stack through that and burn that immediately after that uh, opening play. But uh, an excellent uh, opener there for make me could have done a huge advantage if uh, make was still able to capitalize on that a little bit quicker, but. Uh, 
Dazer was uh, well prepared for that uh, with that counter play and actually is going to set it up for a 1-0 lead. Dazer uh, actually leading the match there. So that was a huge play for Mikimi, but still was not able to capitalize on it. Unfortunately, you know, PC clears or, you know, huge openers like that can sometimes be a double-edged sword if your opponent is a great down stacker and counter play uh, sort of setup. So if they don't have a lot of speed, but they are, uh, you know, masters at the counter play strategy, you can really see yourself in some danger if you open too, too heavily on them uh, because they can use that garbage uh, that they have against you. So let me just... Uh... <coughs> Sorry, folks, my bad about that. Just had a sneeze there. Seems to be a, a bit of a misdrop there from Dazer. Can Miki me kind of capitalize on that uh, misdrop there for a minute? It seems like Dazer is in a bit of uh, danger with, uh, with this garbage here, but still being able to downstack and burn through this efficiently very well here. So, Dazer now with a clear opportunity to go send a few Tetrises into a triple here as well. And there goes two Tetrises in a row. This could be, uh, yeah, there goes. Uh, so really what Dazer is just trying to do is burn through this a little bit to clear a way to uh, send down stack combos through this garbage and hopefully get a better position uh, with the playing field and uh, really put Mikami under a lot of a lot more pressure and danger of topping out here soon. So it seems like the game plan for Dazer is working out here just uh, to his uh, advantage. Mikami is in uh, under a lot more pressure than at the beginning of the match there, and it seems like Dazer just keeps on, uh, you know, gradually stacking on to uh, Mikami's garbage. There goes a crucial misdrop from Mikami, and that's going to be a 2-0 series win from Dazer. GG, moving on to round number two. Dazer with that excellent play, excellent counter plays, uh, even taking advantage of the huge stack of garbage that was sent uh, towards him uh, at Mikimi's beginning play in round one. Still a great match for Mikimi though. The first match was definitely a, uh, a very smart counter move there on Dazer's part and uh, being able to do that uh, under high stakes and pressure really uh, gonna gonna do uh, gonna tell a lot of stories here about. Uh, you know what Dazer plans to do in this tournament, and uh, you know how how good of a counter player, you know, uh, and downstack downstacker Dazer seems to be. So it's going to be great to see uh, how that uh, goes on through goes on through this tournament, and what we can expect for later rounds here. So next up we have D Million versus uh, Monomate, and we're going to go to that next match here. D Million versus Monomate going to come up next, or is it? Wait, hold on. I'm pronouncing that wrong. The, depending on uh, on what language this is meant to be uh, pronounced in, I'm probably saying that wrong. If it's in Spanish, I'm definitely not saying that right. Anyway, <laughs> so Demolin versus uh, all right. I don't know if it's mono or mono. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry, folks. I can't uh, can't really tell. Anyway, uh, so Demolin versus mono. I'll just say that for for now. It seems like they are going to go for that warm-up match. They, uh... <laughs> oh, so, uh... It seems like Mono's having a... Oh, wait, hold on. Never mind. <laughs> so, they're trying to decide if they're having uh, a warm-up match or not. So, um... <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you are listening, Mono, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, a warm up is a a game that you play to prepare. It's a practice game. Uh, it's the game that you play before the actual match. But you can choose to skip that game, a warm up game, if you want. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so for those of you who uh, you know who are new here, I just want to welcome. Uh, I I'm gonna look at the chat as we uh, <laughs> as we uh, prepare these two for their warm up here as well but uh just want to take a bit to notice some of the new folks that we have in the community here uh in the chat here so welcome uh coolo it's uh it seems like this might be one of your first times here at tetris tuesday uh so we're glad you know that you're here today to join us for the tournament and uh you know watch the tournament of hype and madness hopefully you can join us one of these weeks and whatnot but you know just from the bottom of our hearts we send a huge welcome and much love from the vtv community as a whole and thank you so much for joining us uh, in today's <laughs> in today's tournament. So 
glad you can join us in today's stream, uh, Kulo, and uh, we hope to see you in future streams as well. Also, let us know how your day is going and uh, kind of what uh, what Tetris's or Tetris versions you've played before. So it seems like <laughs> the warm-up warm is now over. And we're going to get right into this match here, the series for D-Million versus uh, uh, Monument here. So it seems like D-Million going to go with that PC opener. Very clean right there from D-Million. And that's going to be... Uh, <laughs> A devastating uh, start against uh, Mono there, and it seems like he's not going to have much to counter that. That's going to be a 1-0 and o series <laughs> lead there. He missed uh, missed the second PC from rushing that, uh, it seems like, but still that opener was very, uh, very strong there. The first setup was, initial setup was very spot on, though the... Uh, Second one was rushed a little bit, but it's still, you know, miraculous play there at the beginning and uh, still made it worth it. Like, you know, <laughs> that's one of the things you have to be cautious for sometimes uh, when you are uh, using a high, um, you know, a high stack combo like that uh, to open up because sometimes it can be the opponent's advantage if they are uh, good at down stacking very, uh, very efficiently. Uh, they can really send something back. So, so some of the best ways to counter that, you know, is kind of send even more damage at the, you know, in a shorter interval of time. But also, if we can send two pieces in a row, you know, I uh, I don't see much of a way to uh, counter that if you cannot do it quickly enough. And there goes just another uh, huge opener there from uh, Mono. <laughs> and that is going to be a 2-0 series lead coming in for Demillion. GG for that win. And it seems like... <laughs> that is going to be a tournament advancement there for a demon land moving on to round number two so for those of you new here like i said to look at today's bracket just go ahead and do uh exclamation mark bracket to look at the progress of today's tournament and see who is competing and all that fun jazz there i do want to make one more run reminder though if you are in the loser's bracket and uh and you are finally able to face against somebody Please do so separately and report your scores to us in the Discord so we can get you set up right away for the next match. Anyway, the last, uh, second to last match of the uh, the first round is going to be Fizzle versus Modest Tomato. The, uh, one of the uh, big rivalries that we've been waiting for. Now, Fizzle and Modest, both uh, uh, long-time Tetris Tuesday players, uh, tournament players, a lot of experience, and they both uh, seem to have... Uh, Kind of a interesting history here uh, in this tournament. Kind of um, both going neck and neck at each other uh, quite often here. So this is an interesting rivalry that you know uh, we don't see too often. Much like uh, I would say, I wouldn't say any Corona. Probably a rivalry. Pro I, I wouldn't say that much, but much like Fizzle and and Hannah, sometimes that that could be a fun rivalry to watch as well. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you know. So it's, you know, it's kind of cool to see, you know, what some of the players often will play against each other um, and form a little... Uh, there goes a huge action, a huge PC opener. Wait, is that a... Was that a warm-up? Oh, God. oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got too excited, uh, but that was actually the warm-up there. But we can kind of see what's in store. Uh, Fizzle now missing... Uh, he's not going to go for that PC opener as he did in the warm-up there. Because I think uh, he was kind of expecting Modest to be prepared for that this time around. Uh, but here we go. Just a clean uh, stack of uh, T-spin doubles there. Going back and forth. It seems like uh, Fizzle kind of having that speed advantage over Modest. There goes an, uh, 90 APM uh, versus Modest is 30. He's kind of taking a bit of time to delay. And there goes the, the first match. 1 and 0 oh, lead for Fizzle. Fizzle is going to set up that... Uh, T-spin triple there, going for another one here as well as I can see, uh, where that probably is just another, oh, okay, never mind, just, uh, interesting setup there, and there goes a huge spike there coming in from Fizzle, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that, what that setup was called, uh, I, it's kind of running off my head right now because my mind is, uh, all over the place, but it's just very efficient, um, <laughs> Fizzle with that Mr. T-spin's STD. Oh, lol, but that was a uh, quite interesting setup that someone that we haven't really seen uh, much in uh, the Tetris Tuesday tournament uh, series. So 
uh, you know, Fizzle is showcasing a bit more of that variety and, and adaptability in his uh, in his play and game style or his play style and game. Uh, so that is going to be a 2-0 lead for Fizzle. Moving on to the next match, GG, Fizzle now going on to round number two. <laughs> so a lovely uh, series there coming in from Fizzle, uh, taking in that uh, clearly with a sweep there. We've only had a one series that was close between uh, Rudebeck and SVQ. But now we have Slubris versus Argentino coming up next. Uh, let's take a look at this... Uh, bracket here so we are still waiting on Salubris to come by here if Salubris does not join that means Argentina will go ahead and uh, move on to the second round by default um, <laughs> hold on okay so now they are here um, here we go let me sure once again if you're new here to tweet us out at uh, you know at Variety TTV using hashtag Tetris Tuesday and be sure to look at our, our pin post about the Summer Splash 2019 four day uh, gaming marathon here on this channel that you don't want to miss from July 15th to the 19th uh, starting at noon PSD but we'll make an announcement about that a little bit later uh, as they do uh, you know after this tournament so the, the warm, warm up is over but I will say real quick once again uh, be sure to stay tuned after the tournament is over uh, to uh, for a huge announcement once again that we will uh, be making to y'all folks and we'll talk more about the summer splash here coming soon which is the big announcement obviously but we'll talk more about the summer splash after the tournament so here we go uh, into the uh start of the match so the going to come in quickly with the uh the first opener just a um simple teaspoon double there and but it seems like Argentino doing a great job of down stacking and burning through the garbage uh, very efficiently. It seems like they're keeping a very low playing field versus Slubris here. Argentino not really one to uh, mess with that as we can see, uh, but still Slubris is setting in those combos a little bit quicker, having that speed advantage. Uh, 86 uh, APM over that 45 there. That's going to be double the the, uh, the speed, and it's just going to take uh, Argentino a lot more. Um, you know going to need a lot less time to react here uh, for that combo. So Salubris taking that handedly, 1-0 series lead. And there goes the DT Cannon uh, immediately right there. Going to send down a lot of garbage towards uh, Argentino's way. And now, it seems like both players are kind of neck and neck right now with uh, an even playing field at the moment. But uh, Salubris kind of pulling ahead with some more damage here. There was a bit of a miss drop there from the T piece, but still... Uh, uh, Salubris doing a great job of maintaining that balance there. Uh, Archino setting up the pressure once again for uh, Salubris there with a few uh, T-spin doubles and uh, Tetris follow-ups there. But still, it seems like Salubris uh, seems to be a little bit more in control of this match with the speed there and uh, just how his combos are being set up right now. Archino do still doing a great job of down stacking, uh, burning through that garbage and setting up a, a lovely counter play here against Salubris there. And now Argentino with the uh, kind of the lower playing field versus Salubris. Well, this is match point. This is Salubris' uh, series if he wins this next uh, next match there. And it seems like there's going to be uh, two uh, triple T-spins there. There goes one of the triple T-spins. There goes another triple T-spin followed by a quick double there. That's going to be a lot of garbage onto Argentino there. A great play uh, for Salubris and that's going to set up a lot of pressure but still Argentino doing a great job of down stacking. Now that's going to burn a lot of garbage there and it's still going to uh, still going to do quite a lot there against Lubris. That was a great uh, counter play there. A lot of down stack and uh, down stacking through that garbage. And it's now going to put Lubris in a position of danger here versus himself. So Argentino doing a, a great job, like I said, of keeping the uh, the game intact and doing a nice job of counter playing. As you can see, even though Salubris uh, does have the APM and the speed advantage, you can see that Argentino, uh, you know, playing it very patiently and uh, concisely, but still very accurate with those, uh, you know, with those downstack combos and just playing for counters. And there goes the one and one series tie, just being patient and waiting for the opportunity to come uh, as those. <laughs> as the cheese or garbage, whatever you want to call it, comes through. It seems like Argentino, one of the uh, one of the better uh, counter players in this tournament here, as we saw from uh, from one of the earliest earlier series here as well, <laughs> which I believe was from uh, from Dazer. I forget who was the uh, what 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 match that was that we saw earlier, but we'll get back to that in a second. But uh, it seems like 
Argentino was almost prepared for that uh, if he set up there goes uh, he's setting up for that BT cannon but it was not there in time because the uh, delay from the T piece there but still a lot of damage going into Slubris putting him in some danger here at the moment uh, if for a debut Tetris uh, Tuesday tournament it seems like Argentino is making quite a statement for himself there uh, with the series tied at the moment but still looking to take advantage of this opportunity right now with Slubris being uh, having a lot of garbage stacked against him there there goes a huge play coming in for Argentino a huge opportunity to top him out here Slubris is in danger of topping out with that a quick miss drop there and there goes Argentino with that uh, last uh, T-spin double there to set off a 2 and one series win so GG. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm sorry to uh, I'm sorry that I know it's uh, I know it makes a lot of uh, Hispanic. Hispanics cringe and whatnot to uh, for me to say Argentino like that. I I perfectly understand that uh, because I I know exactly how it's pronounced. But uh, you know, <laughs> because of uh, like I said, <laughs> the the certain mate audience, uh, you know, we're just going to uh, stick with the that certain uh, pronunciation. Wait, hold on, that was two and one. My bad. Two and one there. Trust me, I know I know how annoying. Uh, annoying it sounds for me to to say g instead of uh you know <laughs> the other sound but <laughs> all right that's because uh i'm a bit sick i tend to get sick uh quite a bit during the uh tetris tuesday tournaments i don't know my nose is uh nose is stuffy so i apologize about the coughing um as well so let's go to the uh, tournament browser here. You can do exclamation mark bracket uh, for the uh, stuff there. But where's my water? Maybe that'll help me out a little bit. That's why I try to stay away from from the mic a little bit. Uh, try not to get too close so I don't cough that much. Let me just adjust my mic here as well. <laughs> All right. So we have a match report. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> we have uh. Modest versus uh, Monomate, so Modest moves on 2-0 in that match or in that bracket. And uh, Slubris is still trying to find out who ROD is, or Rod, uh, it seems like here. Um, so Slubris is going to have to find out who that is and battle uh, Rod there. That's why I recommend, you know, try to make your, uh, your Jazz Tristan Discord name similar. But now, we'll be moving on to the first match of round number two. <laughs> so, we have the first, uh, by seed with the first seed, uh, Mystery coming in versus Rutabaga. So this is going to be a very interesting match to see as well. So let's go and, uh, get Mystery versus Rutabaga with the first match of round number two. So let's go and uh, take a look there. So if we look here, if I'm not mistaken, it seems like <laughs> from previous tournament results here. Where is the? Uh, oh, never mind. All right. Okay, I was about to say something, but never mind. That's uh, that's not right. So let's go back to the room. They are doing a, a warm up at the moment. Okay, so the warmth is now over. The good luck half fun's coming in. So here we go. The first match of the series for round number two. It seems like Rudebeck are going to go for that D, uh, DT cannon here right away in that opener. Mystery uh, with that miss drop there with the cannon in. That means Rudebeck is going to take the first uh, match of the series. 1-0. <laughs> Mystery with that crucial miss drop costing quite a lot there with that opening setup in a to cost him the first match there. Rudebeck just going uh, straight ahead with that uh, DT cannon once again, sending out a lot of damage, but it seems like Mystery's in a better position at the moment. Send out some devastating down stack combos here against Rudebeck. There goes the Tetris and the uh, another clear 
another uh, Tetris clear. That's going to be a one in one series lead. I mean, series tie. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Rudy Bigo kind of misdropping there, but still coming uh, with a uh, nice BT candidate as well. Another misdrop, perhaps. Oh, never mind. That was going to be a triple T spin setup, but it was a little bit too late for Mystery uh, going to set up that uh, <laughs> that counterplay uh, or taking advantage of that delay coming in from Rudebaker. So Mystery is going to have a two and one series win here. Going on to round number three, a quick series. Mystery making it uh, taking a lot of advantage with that speed and uh, anticipating. What could happen once uh you know the delays from the setups come in so great strategy and uh, a great play for mystery there so next is going to be Afizipo versus uh argentino there but also we're still waiting on that uh so rudbega and modest are going to be playing next so make sure y'all report your scores uh report your scores here as well and uh as we go down the brackets just make sure you do so just as a little reminder so Afizipo versus uh argentino coming up next Afizipo, another person uh, well known for those uh, triple T-spin setups as well, going into the, uh, the down stack combos. It seems like, uh, you know, in these, uh, you know, in the uh, Tetris, modern Tetris tournaments uh, meta right now, we do have, uh, you know, a lot uh, bigger presence of those triple T-spin setups uh, rather than, uh, <laughs> rather than, um, you know, double T-spins into Tetris setups, you know, um, as they are finding combos here as well so we can see you know how uh just in this tournament at least the meta uh, begins to be played and you know adjusted a little bit here in these uh as the weeks go by so that's also interesting to see uh how people prepare and you know have their particular or, or signature setups for you know tournaments all across the uh the tetris community and uh you know we get to see it here in action here as well I always love to see how you know players individually set up their strats and uh, set up their uh, you know play styles as well. So here we go. Good luck, have fun. The the second match of round number two, Afizipo having kind of a speed advantage as we can see with uh, almost triple uh, that a APM there. Argentino doing a great job um, <laughs> of kind of playing here, but still Afizipo doing a, a great job of having that speed advantage. And taking that to heart there, but it seems Argentino with that down stack combo <laughs> did a great deal of damage to Afizipo right now. And Argentino going to uh, make probably some great use of this cheese here that's being sent towards him. And it seems like now it is kind of neck and neck right now. Argentino needs to go ahead and set up this down stack combo to put uh, Afizipo in a lot of danger. But there goes the DT cannon set up there. There goes one T a triple T spin, two triple T spins, followed into a Tetris there. But it seems like that's not going to be enough against Argentino as like I said he is a very a good down stacker and uh very good at those counter plays just anticipating those moments when the garbage comes in so it seems like that's not really going to affect Argentino much really what you have to uh kind of do is to kind of overwhelm and wait for those delays to come in from Argentino kind of punishing those mistakes uh when Argentino is kind of delaying to set up a combo and as we can see here right now there goes a mess drop there from the JPs and that's going to be a 1-0 series lead from Afizipo taking advantage of that mess drop there at the end <laughs> all right now back into the second match of uh sorry the second match of the series uh, Afizipo up 1-0, and oh, a huge spike of damage here at the beginning with that opener from Afizipo, now setting up another Tetris into a T-spin triple there, I'm sorry, T-spin double, and now he is going to set up another T-spin double there, this could be a, uh, oh, we don't see the triple setups yet, just kind of going back and forth with those uh, doubles back and forth, and it seems like Argentino not really having an answer for that, uh, delaying the setup there, and like I said, Afizipo going to punish that, uh, <laughs> That's a lane once again, and it is going to be a 2-0 series win for uh, Afizipo. Going to move on to round number four, I believe, or round three. Yeah, that's right. That means Afizipo will be facing Mystery in that uh, second round of, uh, I mean, the, the uh, first match of round number three. Going to be a very difficult match here, um, as we can see. Round three, I'm making that bracket very difficult to... Uh, to face off in but let's take a look and see if any of the uh the match scores are reported or uh, updated here so let's take a look here to see any of the scores so salubris 
moves on with a 2-0 and <laughs> versus uh, ROD 10S. So that means... Oh, my bad. So Salubri is going to move on to that series to face off against the loser of 11. And FAQ going to face off against number 12. So we're still waiting on the results for uh, Rutabaga versus Modest. And then uh, Argentino versus Mikimi. Which should be coming up here soon. And we'll get those results posted there. And once again, to look at today's bracket, you can always do exclamation mark bracket to look at uh, the scores and update yourselves uh real time with <laughs> the tournament uh results or you know yeah so anyway we have romian versus dazer coming up next in the second round the second to last match of the second round so let's go ahead and take a look at this match here so romian another um Another person who is also returning to uh, Tetris Tuesdays, as we can see uh, from, you know, we saw Romine's first appearance uh, probably about week two or three uh, in Tetris Tuesday. And um, ever since, we have seen a lot of great tournament appearances from uh, from Romine as well. I believe the first uh, the first few were, were some good uh, semifinal appearances from Romine coming in and also having improved since then. Uh, you know, it's going to be exciting to see how... Uh, <laughs> You know, Romian kind of plays now at this point, uh, 17 weeks in, you know, we have seen a lot of improvements from uh, players every week and uh, just kind of making the stakes higher as we uh, we see this global competition or, you know, people competing on a global scale. The stakes definitely do get higher there. Anyway, let's go take a look now. Uh, Romian versus Days are coming up here in the room. We are waiting on Romian, so let's go ahead and uh, see where they are at. So if Romian doesn't join in about one minute, we will skip that match and go to uh, the next match for round number two. <laughs> so let's see why is my laptop messing up on me? <laughs> Give me just a second. So we are waiting for uh, Romian and we might have to skip that match if does that do it? so oh <laughs> so Romians had to drop out I didn't know that let's see uh where was that reported uh so we didn't see that oh okay so Romian had to drop out because of a family issue so that's perfectly understandable uh <laughs> let's go ahead and update that bracket thanks for letting me know about that I wouldn't have known I didn't see the chat there so Romian unfortunately had to drop out so that means a uh that means days are going to move on uh, <laughs> automatically there um, in round number two. So we do understand the, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the difficulties like that, that people will have to face sometimes. And Slew is also uh, moving on to the uh, <laughs> record there. So that means if we're going to look at the scores that are being reported right now. We have a two and one Modest versus Rutabaga. So that, that means Modest is going to move on to the next round here in the lo lower brackets. So, uh, Argentino versus Mikimi, uh, they're going to report their scores here very soon, and we'll move them on uh, depending on what happens there. So now, it seems like uh, Super is going to play the, the winner of FAQ versus, uh, you know, whoever loses against Simulator and Fizzle. So the next match, obviously, in round number two, the last match that we're going to play is Demillion versus Fizzle. So let's go ahead and have these two join for the last match of round number two. It seems like they are both ready to go in the uh in the room so it seems like they are going to go for a warm-up match <laughs> so modest tomato in that uh lower bracket match he uh telling us here that he's having a close set game two was 171 seconds and it was down one and oh so a great match there from uh modest uh and congrats for winning that set as well Glad to see that you're still in the brackets and still fighting for another day. Like I said, that's one of the uh, one of the matches that you know also um, would, would have been close as well. Another uh, interesting rivalry, as we can see, versus uh, Modest and uh, Rudebega. Kind of a certain group of uh, uh, players that kind of rival, rival each other sometimes, like Fizzle versus Henna, or it could be Fizzle versus uh, Modest or Modest versus Rudebega. You know, sometimes that will happen. I wouldn't exactly call it a rivalry. But, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it kind of looks like one. But 
um so they are still warming up i believe and it seems like this might be uh just from, telling for the from the warm-up it seems like it seems like this could be a uh, a close match once the warm-up warm is over so we can anticipate uh some long <laughs> some long matches here uh coming up in the uh in the series so yeah i'm going to anticipate some long matches i'd probably say we'll go down to the wire it could be a close series uh, like a uh, full three game series or somebody could just end up getting that series sweep so we'll kind of see how that goes so <laughs> good luck have fun to both we're gonna go right into the series now fizzle versus d million the last match of round number two to decide who's gonna be moving on to the winner's bracket round number three and who will be playing versus salubris i believe in the lower brackets or whoever was playing i I forget who was uh, in Laura's racket there. So Fizzle with that crucial misdrop, or not very crucial, but a misdrop from the TP is nonetheless. Uh, Demillion could have had that advantage to uh, counterplay on that and uh, capitalize on that misdrop there. It seems like uh, Demillion is doing that just now. As Fizzle would not, <laughs> not, not, did not have enough time to, uh, to uh, actually react to that from the misdrop there. So Demillion with that advantage, 1-0 in the series so far. 1-0 uh, leading the series so far. And it seems like um, putting on a lot more pressure on a Fizzle, Demillion taking that advantage there. But now Fizzle uh, putting the pressure back on with a cleaner playing field. Uh, sorry, a lower, lower playing field and a cleaner uh, grid. But it seems like Demillion though, keeping that pressure alive more consistently versus Fizzle. And there goes a huge uh, combo there, and that's not going to be uh, enough to react to. And that's going to be a top out there. D-Million moving on 2-0 to round number three. So GG for D-Million. Let's take a look at what is going to be happening here next. So D-Million going on 2-0 versus Fizzle. So, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Fizzle versus FAQ now. That's going to be the match play there. I don't know if uh, Archino and Mikami have uh, played yet. But if they both have played, uh, be sure to report your scores, please. So we can uh, get on to that next round there. So, we're still waiting for them as well. Uh, these two down here to report their scores. So we can uh, go on to that lower bracket round number three and see how that will go. I believe that will be the, the quarterfinals uh, of the lower bracket. So anyway, we're going to have a round number three to decide who will be moving on to the semifinals. But first off is going to be Mystery versus Afizifl. So let's go to round number three. The deciding round or deciding round for uh, the first semifinal entries or the first two. Let's go and take this down here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to wait for those who to join the room. Mystery versus Afrizifl. I'm going to be coming up next in round number three. So Flood Escaper. I'm going to have to uh, spec. <laughs> so it seems like we're going to have to probably call a uh, JS Triss uh, staff here. Uh, loses round three. We'll, we'll see if it's streamed. It depending on uh, depending on uh the amount of time that it takes for the winners bracket round three to finish. Uh, then we'll see if um uh, we will stream the lower bracket round three depending on that. But you know, so uh, <laughs> so flood. He is not leaving the tournament room, so I'm gonna have to unfortunately call a uh, a JS just staff probably, and uh, if it floods, so I'm not sure if you can see the uh, the uh, the stream, um, but you can spectate. Um, but unfortunately, you cannot play. Um, <laughs> All right. So we do have a bit of a delay, uh, Flood Escaper. Uh, we have no hard feelings here. Just uh, had to let you know. No, it's tournament rules to, to uh, spectate once we are in the tournament. <laughs> so 
they do have one so mystery versus Afrosimple, the first match to decide who is going to go on to the semi-finals which is the winners winners quarterfinals here and they're going to do that warm up now and let me just uh take a look so making me one two and one versus argentino it seems like a very close series all right so we're gonna go back to the uh the uh the match itself after i blow my nose once again <laughs> Right, so good luck have fun to both players we have mystery versus apposiful coming in to the first round of the uh sorry the first match of the round number three and it seems like apposiful coming in with a strong opener as well as mystery with that uh, huge com uh, combo counter play and that's gonna be a, probably a bit too much apposiful's in a lot of danger here mystery with that huge counter play apposiful not really uh placing his combos in the right uh, setup there and that's gonna be a one and zero series lead from mystery a huge play and uh, taking home that first match, leading the series. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a spectacular finish there for Mystery. Afficible setting up another huge opener uh, with that T-spin triple there as well. But Mystery with another counter play, having uh, some very clean, uh, a very clean single well down the middle, as we can see with that garbage. So that is kind of a, a clean garbage advantage there for Mystery. But it seems like Afficible now putting the burners back on with that counter play. Mystery could be overwhelmed here soon if Apposible takes uh, capitalizes on this uh, on this moment right now, and there goes the one on one series tie, very close series between the two. But it seems like Apposible now going insane with the uh, with the huge speed spike, as we can see one on one uh, APM there for just a moment. But now both players kind of uh, sitting, uh, kind of getting a little bit faster here with their setups, as we can see. Afzipal was trying to set up for that triple T spin, but it seems like the uh, you know the pieces were not there for him, unfortunately. So it's, so they're gonna have to settle for just some few uh, T spin doubles there to set up another combo. But the garbage is very clean. Uh, the cheese is, uh, has a clean well down these uh, the metal side of the grid, so that could be playing to Afzipal's advantage. Uh, as mystery does uh, have like sort of an array of a garbage there so it's not very clean but still can do something with that if they play quickly enough Afficible in a better position right now with that playing field a very low ground game as we can see Afficible now setting up another t-spin double needs to capitalize if they don't want mystery to counterplay this immediately and it seems like Afficible is still setting this up here a lot of garbage and pressure onto mystery once again my mystery is almost there he is going to be down stacking through that garbage and absolutely needs to make this play quickly there goes a quick uh, t-spin triple there and that t-spin is going to mess up again there for absolutely so the huge uh combo spike was not going to work out well it seems like but still able to down stack through that nonetheless and uh, correct that mistake a little bit by setting up a better playing field now mystery putting absolutely under a lot of pressure but still <laughs> Both players keeping a very uh, composed uh, set of composed playing style, uh, waiting for that uh, the opportunity opportunity to make a combo here. As we can see, both uh, a very conservative conservative slash counter play uh, sort of uh, game that they're bringing to the table. Both staying at a level playing field, but now mystery in a lot of danger there. A huge spike there from Afzipel at the end. Uh, clutch play uh, with that uh, last. T-spin double combo and Afazipal is going to move on two and one to be the first person in the tournament today to move on to the semifinals. All right, so we do have some new people joining from the uh, the game chat actually. So if you're joining from the JS just room and lobby, we invite you to join the Discord, which you can uh, look at by using exclamation mark Discord. Uh, feel free to join the community if you want to join future tournaments as well. But just want to make that a reminder. And also, if you want to look at today's brackets, you can do exclamation mark bracket to see who is going to be playing next. So anyway, that was a solid win there. Let's go back to the, um, the screen. A solid win there from uh, Afizipal, I believe. Oh, no. <laughs> was it Mystery or Afizipal who just just won? I for <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I just forgot who... Uh... God, my mind is all over the place. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Who was on the right side? Was that Afzipal? Afzipal just won, right? Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't... I can't believe, uh... Well, Jalen, actually... Um... 
you're always more than welcome to be invited to any Tetris Tuesday tournament that we do. Um, just be sure to go ahead and join the Discord, and uh, every Tuesday when we do the announcements, you can feel free to click one. So we, it is always open to anyone who wants to join the tournament. This is a very inclusive community, and we would like to see anyone get the chance to play, uh, you know, when they can there. But just to let you know, you also do have a chance, anyone has a chance to join in the, t in the tournament every week, as long as they register, or as long as they ent uh, enter uh, in time. So, not to worry about that. You're always uh, welcome to join uh, <laughs> before the tournament. But anyway, uh, so here we go. Dazer versus D Million, the last match of round number three. Uh, so Dazer uh, <laughs> coming in, sorry, D Million coming in with a, a strong opener. Days are able to set up a, a nice counterplay here as well. This could be a long, uh, a long series here. It seems like from how well they both counterplay here, but it seems like Demilion kind of going in with a more consistent uh, T-spin double followed by a uh, double well on the left side, setting off a huge combo and some more damage onto uh, Dazer. There goes a miss drop though from the uh, <laughs> from the S piece, so that could be. Uh, a little bit dangerous. I'm sorry, from the Z piece there. That could be a little bit dangerous there. So we'll see how that goes. But still, a very consistent uh, T spin double, uh, consistent uh, small couples in a row. So Dean Land is going to take that first match. Want to know? There goes another. I'm not sure if that was a miss. Okay, yeah. So that was a uh, little miss drop there, but it shouldn't be too harmful on Dean Land's side as long as he can downstack through this and set up a uh, another combo from the uh, from the garbage that was created there for himself there. And now days are being put under quite a bit of pressure, but still being able to down, down stack through the garbage, uh, burn through it, and send a lot more cheese towards D Million's way. But D Million still setting off a huge uh, combo there. Some miss drops from Dazer, and that's going to be uh, taken to the advantage of D Million with a 2 and 0 series win. Moving on, the second person to go to the second finals, uh, semifinals, D Million, a 2 and 0 series win. Very clean. Uh, and concise there. So let's go ahead and give uh, Demilion a nice 2-0 victory there. And I I believe it was Absible who won that last series. What? 2-0 uh, and oh or 2-1? and one. I, I always uh, I forget for some reason. I, I forget who was on the right. Oh, <laughs> so let's look at the tournament bracket. I'm going to actually take a look and uh, I'm sorry folks. I have to go back in the VODs because like my mind just blanked out and uh, from that last match, yeah, absolutely did win that one. Okay, so just making making sure I uh, my short term memory is not uh, lost here, folks. My bad about that. So yeah, the welcome. Uh, also, before we go to the semifinals, we're gonna take a little bit of a break to uh, address a few things. So, welcome Jalen to the Tetris Tuesday tournament that we have every uh, Tuesday here at BTV. Uh, we are live every. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Center time. That's when the tournaments start. Uh, once you join the Discord there, which we invite you uh, very much to do so, you're more than welcome to, to chat with us, uh, join the community, uh, look around and see what you kind of enjoy. Uh, if it's not only Tetris, you can kind of meet some cool casters and different things about the community that we will keep adding onto the server as time goes on as well. But you can always join in the... Uh, <laughs> you can always join in the uh, tournaments by... Entering and pressing one in the chat one hour before the tournament starts, which we always announce every Tuesday before the tournament. So uh, we're going to take a little minute to look at uh, the the bracket scores, actually, <laughs> and uh, um, take a look at how this goes. So we have make me going uh, two and one versus Argentino there. So that means and make me went two and one. Uh, so then. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Slubis going two and one versus Fizzle. So Fizzle did uh, Fizzle one, I think, in that last match versus FAQ. I'm not sure, but I, I will say um, I'm not sure uh, how much Fizzle won by in that last match actually uh, versus FAQ. So <laughs> Flood Escaper having the uh, kind of having the spotlight a little bit. Uh, but let's see. 
Those are one against FAQ. I'm not sure by how much, so we're just gonna assume two and one. It doesn't really matter because you won the series anyway. But oh, two and zero. Oh. All right. Okay, never mind. So uh, now uh, it seems like Slubris went two and one versus Fizzle. All right. Okay, so Mickey and Modest are playing up next. We are gonna stream uh, lower bracket round number four. First, so Mystery and Salubris are going to be coming up in here next. So let's take a look at how this match is going to go. Mystery and Salubris, uh, quite an interesting one to uh, to see how that's going to be. So let's go ahead and join the uh, the lobby here. Uh, Mystery versus Salubris in the lower bracket for round number four. The first of the uh, lower bracket matches that we are going to be streaming here. So let's go move back to the Tetris browser. So we have Mystery versus uh, Salubris here. Let's see if uh, Flood, uh, Flood Escaper you will have to spec. Okay. All right, so Flood Escaper is going to uh, spectate. Thank you very much for being respectful of that as well. We appreciate you, Flood. I would give a big uh, round of applause to Flood for, you know, uh, kind of um, being respectful of the rules and spectating when we ask as well. Let's give a big round of applause. Flood, you're awesome. Thank you very much for uh, cooperating with us as well. So the warm up is going to be over and let's go right into the match here for the first match of round number four in the lower bracket. All right. So mystery versus Salubris, let's kind of see how this goes and uh, GG, let's have a, I mean, good luck, have fun. Let's have a uh, great match here. So Salubris is going to try to open with that, uh, with that uh, D DT cannon here. But mystery did get there first with that opener there, setting off a lot more garbage here in the start uh, with a clear um, advantage here with that speed a little bit. Well, not too clear, but a, a bit of a speed advantage there from uh, mystery side, as we can see. In this round, there goes a bit of a miss shop there from Slubris. From the Z piece, uh, might cost a little bit here if Mystery capitalizes on this opportunity with that T spin double into Tetris there. There goes a huge spike there. Uh, two T spin doubles uh, with, uh, with that huge single well of Tetrises. And there goes a 1 0 series lead for Mystery coming into the second match of round number four. So, <laughs> here we go into the next match. Uh, Mystery versus Salubris. It seems like Mystery with the uh, huge opener. Uh, well, not a huge opener, but it, uh, he does get to the open, opening setup here first. So that is going to put a lot of pressure in the early game versus Salubris. And Mystery going to uh, set up that three wide here down the middle side of the grid. Going to put a lot of pressure on this Salubris once again. Salubris is going to have to downstack and set up a nice counter play if they're going to win this series here. That Mystery now... Uh, Slubris now turning on the uh, the gears again and putting a mystery under a lot of pressure here at uh, this time around. Mystery almost in danger of topping out here soon, but that was a clean save there for Mystery uh, blocking out the damage with that uh, Tetris there at the end. And there goes another T-Spin triple into a Tetris uh, down the middle well. That could have been a misdrop, but there is a uh, compensates for with that with another Tetris or compensates for that with another Tetris. So Mystery doing a great job of... Uh, Know, playing through those uh you know quick misplacements there but still salubris uh does have a nice uh counterplay strategy here it seems like uh salubris is always prepared for those huge stacks those huge combos coming in uh against him here but mystery could slightly use that speed advantage to his uh, uh speed sorry speed uh ability to his advantage here as we can see salubris being put in a lot uh, a lot of danger here at the moment Almost in danger of topping out here. Mystery needs to go for um, more combos that send more damage here. But those are two crucial miss drops there from the Z piece and the T piece, uh, S and T piece there. And that's going to cost uh, Mystery that match. And now it's going to be a one in one series tie here for Mystery versus Salubris in round number four. As we can see now, Mystery going to go for a similar setup there with that uh, with that T spin double into a Tetris there. Uh, they're going to settle for the double instead, uh, just winning for, uh, to set up 
the uh, the Dallas Tech combo through this garbage through these garbage lines. But it seems like Slubris still uh, keeping a clear head despite the counter plays from Mystery as well. Uh, Slubris just winning uh, patiently, being conservative with that play, waiting for the right opportunity. As we can see right now, this is the time to capitalize. But the, but there is a miss drop there from Slubris on the uh, the Z piece, and that could be the game. There is a lot of pressure here to top out if Mystery can set up a lot of damage. But Mystery also miss drops the uh, L piece, so that is not going to be a chance to capitalize on that. But still, Slubris in a lot of more pressure here. Mystery can top him out. If he gets this uh, combo there, and there goes a uh, a nice last minute match there, uh, last minute spike there for Mystery going two and one in the series. GG. Now Mystery moving on in the lower brackets there. A very close match there, but Mystery at the end able to come through, uh, overcome um, that little miss drop there and put a lot of pressure on the slew wrist from those miss drops. So Mystery now. Moving on to uh, the semi, sorry, the quarterfinals of the lower brackets here. So now let's take a look at Modest versus Mikibi and see what happens here. So Mikibi moves on two and one versus Modest here. And now we have uh, <laughs> Dazer versus Mikibi in this next round for lower brackets number four. So once again, to look at today's bracket, you can always do exclamation mark bracket to look at the progress of today's tournament and uh, see how things are going. And welcome uh, Chili Con Charlie here. Thank you for joining the Tetris Tuesday uh, stream today. I have heard, uh, heard Tetris online actually. I've also heard of TLP. Uh, something I find interesting here, you know, about uh, things in modern Tetris today is, you know, how many uh, new things are being uh, developed, uh, new things that are also, you know, uh, New programs or clients that are being developed for Tetris uh, are in new platforms for people to test out uh, that have their own particular uh, styles for modern Tetris that people love to enjoy. So glad to see the uh, the releases getting out there more for uh, for different Tetris players around the world. But yeah. So anyway, back to the match here. As we can see, this is a warm up match. So I will take this time to blow my nose. But TOP actually stands for Tetris Online Poland. Now, I'm not officially endorsing or anything, but it is uh, one of those uh, other Tetris, um, you know, platforms out there. I've not played TOP uh, really, but I plan to test it out sometime, and I will. Uh, I will give you all my thoughts in the Discord or or probably on stream someday. For those of you who do watch my streams, uh, you know you can probably see my input there if I ever play TOP but uh but yeah or probably on here once I get that but good luck have fun now we're actually live in the tournament here the uh, <laughs> uh last quarterfinal match of the lower brackets here Dazer versus making me uh in this match as we can see uh Dazer kind of coming in with a strong uh strong opener here versus making me and making me is going to look for that uh counter play here Dazer with a bit of a miss drop there from the Z piece I believe, but still going to be uh, managing to make that uh, make it count here. Kind of tucking in the T piece, uh, could not really set up the uh, the T spin there quite efficiently. But there goes the overhang. So a quick T spin double coming in from Dazer. Going to look for another T spin setup here, as we can see, looking for that overhang. There goes again, a uh, lovely setup there down the middle of the grid. But it, oh, there goes a miss drop there from the L piece. That might be costing Dazer quite a lot here, unless they can uh, Dazer can tuck in with a few eye pieces here. Uh, down this grid and set up a quick triple or something to burn through that uh, garbage here. Make me needs to take advantage and capitalize on this opportunity right now. If uh, she is going to top out Dazer here, and now Dazer is in a lot of trouble here. There goes a the top out, making me take advantage uh, of that significant uh, miss drop there. And there goes a one and no series lead from making me in the uh, the series. There goes a PC opener there from making me immediately in the match there but Dazer instead is going to counterplay that with two quick tetrises as well as a teaspoon double into tetris and make me going to counterplay that uh that as well still an uh, excellent play there coming in uh from making me with a smooth uh pc clear there at the start of the match 
and it seems like Dazer was able to counterplay that uh, much too effectively. And now Mikimi seems to be like the one in danger a little bit. Let me just blow my nose. All right, so still in some danger here of topping out, and there was really not uh, a chance to counter that. And it's going to be a one-in-one -one series tie so far. So this is match point in this series here for Mikimi versus Dazer. Uh, Mikimi going to set up a lot of damage. Dazer with a bit of a misdrop there from the S piece. Going to have to burn through that garbage. And now Mikimi putting Dazer in a lot more danger right now at the moment. Dazer is looking for those pieces to set up another combo there. And there goes the... Uh, he finds the well now down the left side of the grid, but still not being able to find those pieces correctly in time. And that's going to probably be a top row there for Dazer. And Mikimi going to move on 2-1 and one in the series to move on in 2. The next round. GG for Mikimi. A very, uh, very high tournament placement here that we can see. And there goes a 2-1 and one victory. So, we have the official last match here for those quarterfinals to decide who is actually going to be moving on into the second match of the, or not this, who's going to be moving on to yeah, the second match of the semifinals here. So, uh, Mickey Me versus Mystery here, coming up here next, the first, the 10th seed. Let's see how this goes. So, round number four. Let's take a quick look. So I have to keep muting because I have to blow my nose there. But we do have a lot of uh, Make Me fans cheering her on right now, as well as Mystery. A lot of uh, a lot of morale boosting and hype coming in for this match, for the last match of the lower bracket uh, quarterfinals here. To decide who's going to be moving on to the second match of the semifinals here. So this is going to be the, their warm up, warm up match. A lot of pressure, a lot of things in the line here, as well. To decide who's going to be moving on next. <laughs> All right, so good luck, have fun to both. The warm up is now over, so here we go to decide who's going to be moving on to the second match of the semifinals. So now mystery, uh, going to set up a quick uh, Tetris opener there versus Mikimi, but there goes making me making me waiting patiently for that PC opener, but mystery is able to to uh, offset that damage just quite a bit. And that's not really going to do much, unfortunately. And, and Mystery going to set up with a clean combo here once again. Uh, going to put a lot more pressure on the Mikimi at the moment. And it seems like Mikimi is still able to kind of play through that uh, very well. <laughs> but that opening line there for Mikimi did very well uh, with that PC clear. Could have gone, uh, could have gone through a top out for Mystery, but Mystery is not someone you can uh, easily top out at the beginning, as they are a great counter player. Uh, you know, a great down stacker, and they could really anticipate those moves at the beginning there to set up a nice uh, play to count counter and uh, send back more combos uh, than the uh, PC set, uh, set itself. And that goes a huge stack coming in for Mystery with another Tetris. So that might be a top out there for making me and making me cannot find the rhythm there to down stack. And that goes a uh, there goes a one and zero series lead for Mystery into the series so far. <laughs> All right, where's my music at? Oh, GG, where is it at? Okay, here we go. Back into the, uh, the second match of the series here. It seems like Mikmi is setting up a lot of pressure on to uh, Mystery at the moment. And now Mystery is in some danger here. Still, though, being able to send a lot of uh, downstack combos towards Mikmi and burning through that garbage very efficiently. And now Mikmi is uh, under a lot of pressure right now. Both players still uh, head to head, but it seems like uh, Mystery being a little bit more consistent with uh, those combos there, and that's going to be a 2-0 and series sweep there. So Mystery is going to be moving on into the second match of the semifinals. GG. Mystery looking for another finals appearance in the Tetris Tuesday tournament. So 2-0. and Good job there. So now we move on into the first match of the semifinals.
So let's go ahead and take that, uh, take a look here. <laughs> and uh, do this real quick. Or is this, uh, I think so, I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'm messing this up right now. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. All right, so the first match of the semifinals, which will be Afizipal versus D Million. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes to see who will move on into the finals here. So Afizipal versus D Million coming up here. And let's see how this will go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So good luck have fun to both. It seems like they, they are going to skip the uh, warm up, I think, or they probably have done it already, but I couldn't really tell exactly if they've done the, the warm up or not. So there goes a uh, quick open opener there from D Million. But it seems like Afizipal is going to set up something of his own there, looking for that triple team setup, but it's still going to be consistent there coming in from Afizipal, uh, just setting up a bit more damage on a D million, a lot more pressure, but still both players kind of uh, neck and neck at the moment. But Afizipal, though, setting a lot of pressure on a D million there, and uh, still in danger of topping out there, but uh, D million could not find the counter to that. And like I said, at semifinals, it is best of five. I forgot to mention that. So now these players have. Uh, five potential matches to play out. So the first person to three wins uh, in the semifinals will be uh, the victor here instead of the best of three. So now that we're in the best of three situation, the stakes get kind of a bit higher. Now the matches will get drawn out longer, so it kind of gives them a bit more time to strategize and whatnot. But Afizipal is so far le leading that series 1-0 uh, and so far. So uh, D-Million though setting up a lot of pressure on Afizipal, but it seems like Afzipal though, keeping that composure tight. And I gotta blow my nose again here soon. I'm gonna look for some tissue as I commentate. We'll be right back for a second, folks. I'm just gonna blow my nose so I can get back to uh, commentating. But that folks have blown my nose for a long time. But there goes a 2-0 series lead from Afzipal from the uh, last spike at the end, punishing Demillion for that mistake there. But there goes a huge spike there, PC clear uh, at, uh, at the start there from uh, Demillion. But that could be double-edged sword if Afzipal decides to take this route and also uh, kind of play through that efficiently there. So now Demillion is in a bit of trouble here. My nose is still clogged up, even though I just uh, blew it. GG. And there goes a missed drop there from Afzipal, though, despite being 2-0 leading up in the series, but Afzipal can still do a, a nice uh, burn through the garbage here if they play this out correctly. Afzipal in a lot of pressure here versus D-Million. D-Million uh, almost forcing that top out on Afzipal right now, but it seems like Afzipal is putting on the gears and turning the tables right now. A huge spike there from Afzipal that could be in danger of topping out D-Million here soon if Afzipal could capitalize on this uh, moment right now. But it seems like D-Million looking for that piece to counterplay in, but it seems like the down stack is not going to initiate, and that's going to be a 3-0 series sweep for the semifinals. So Afzipal is going to move on into the finals for today's Tetris Tuesday tournament. GG. For Afizipal. So, <laughs> let's take a look here. In today's tournament bracket, you can always do exclamation mark bracket to look at to, uh, to look at the uh, the ported scores and to stay alive uh, real time with the tournament progress. So now, D Million and Mystery are going to be the second match of the semifinals. Let's take a look <laughs> at how this will go. So, D Million versus Mystery, the last match of the semifinals to decide who'll be facing off against Afizipal and who'll be going for their first uh, ever Grand Tetris Tuesday Championship. I will say, no matter who wins, though, this will be, uh, crown them their first ever Tetris Tuesday Championship. Championship belt. WBA, WBC, and <laughs> RBF, Tetris Champion of the World. Anyway, 
So here we go. The second match of the semifinal is D-Million versus Mystery coming up here at the moment. I think they are going to do a warm-up match. Oh, no, they're right into it. So they're right into the match. My bad there, folks. Uh, D-Million versus Mystery, as we can see. Uh, Mystery going to go in for, with a nice T-spin double there. And I believe that's going to be a 1-in-1 uh, one one series tight. So far, I'm not sure if the... Uh, if that can let's warm up or not with the one with the uh first match being at one in the series but so far though mystery leading that series uh versus uh d million here as we can see but now D uh, mystery is in a bit of uh, danger here of topping out here and unless they can uh send off a nice down stack and a co uh, counter play against d million there there was a bit of a fractal setup there with those uh t pieces but it seems like not going to be very effective here versus D Million, as D Million is going to set up a lot more pressure now. Mystery is going to have to look for that uh, for for that uh, entryway into the down stack combo to send off a lot more garbage on the D Million and probably force a top out here. Looking for that eyepiece, there it goes right there. Two eyepieces, two Tetrises coming in for Mystery, and there goes another uh, another one to finish it off. One more Tetris right there, and that might be the top out here against D Million. Unless oh, there it goes again, another T spin double, and that's going to be a two uh, and once uh, two series lead for mystery all right there was a huge spike there from the pc clear at the beginning there from d million that could be a top out here soon against mystery and now mystery looking for the uh the combos here to counterplay here just needs that one clear line and that could have been a top out but the nice save coming in from mystery almost being in danger of topping out here soon and that's going to be a three and one series uh win there mystery going to be moving on into the finals a great series there a spectacular performance from uh, Mystery. Also, that third... Uh, it seems like Milan was trying to set up that third PC uh, onto Mystery there. But it seems to have failed. He didn't j he, he didn't quite make it there. And that kind of cost up the match a little bit. But still, at the end, Mystery uh, with cl three clean and clear matches. Uh, setting off a lot of damage here. But now that's going to be... The Grand Finals. So let's get the Grand Finals hype here going on for who is going to win uh, today's tournament number 17 of VTV Tetris Tuesday and who's going to be crowned the first ever VTV Championship. So Mystery going to move on 3-0. But let's get that hype going in for who will be the first ever v their first ever VTV Champion or Tetris Tuesday Champion for Apizable versus Mystery. This is going to be quite a match for the ages. Yeah, I don't believe that uh, either of these players have actually uh, won a Tetris Tuesday before. Let me just check. I know they have not before yet. So this match, with this match, there is a lot on stake here. I mean, a lot at stake <laughs> for this uh, final match here. But either way, both players should be proud of their progress here. The grand finals match here. Let me just go ahead and put that uh, on the screen here. Alpha's of versus Mystery decide who wins it all and who gets crowned the tetris tuesday champion of week number 17. all right <laughs> yeah i said uh i said steak but i meant to say uh steak as in uh like a position or uh steak as in risk or you know what uh or something significant uh <laughs> at risk or something like that but you know either way uh they are gonna go for that warm-up match but you know you can never go too wrong with steak. Personally, personally, I don't eat steak. But when I used to eat steak, because I used to eat steak, uh, it was pretty darn good. So, you know, if you are starving today, I do recommend after the match, after today's tournament, go ahead and grab you some good old Angus. Wait, no, that's, that's beef. <laughs> that's not steak, that's beef. What am I talking about? <laughs> good old Kobe Steaks. Anyway, um, or um, there's also, I don't know how to pronounce them, but uh, like Wagyu steaks, um, which which are in Japan, I believe. Those are to be, you know, some of the best cuts of meat, uh, best cuts of meat uh, from, from the herd of cows there in Japan. They have private farms uh, for, <laughs> for those particular cuts of uh, steak there. So, you know. That is, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, for something free to figure out, figure out there and see what your preferences are. Personally, I don't eat steak anymore, uh, because of certain reasons. But, you know, that doesn't mean anyone else can't eat steak. You know, y'all can, 
enjoy it to the best of your ability there so now the warm-up is over this is what we do when we when we have to um you know buy some time for the warm-up we just go ahead and talk about our favorite foods and and drinks like you know one of our uh famous commentators here at tetris tuesday garbo once said you know he told us about his uh, morning routine where he was uh he he uh he eats french fries for breakfast and i think soda as well he drinks soda and french fries uh, for breakfast so what a lovely combo to have at 9 a.m <laughs> anyway now we're going to go into the finals match here versus invisible versus mystery to, to decide who is going to uh who is going to win their first ever tetris tuesday tournament so invisible is going to have to uh readjust for a second Today's tournament is sponsored by the VTV Hype Train. Your hype train there for any sort of tournaments or VTV marathons. Get your tickets now for the VTV Hype Train. Anyway, welcome back to the tournament here. Good luck, have fun. Uh, After Double versus Mystery, as we can see, uh, both kind of uh, getting there a little bit slow to their openers there, kind of. Uh, Messing that up a little bit, but still sending off uh, quite a bit of damage to at least get something started here. But Alphazible now going to clean the boards a little bit faster. Looking, probably looking for that uh, PC clear here soon. Seems like that was going to try to be a PC clear setup. But still, instead of going to go for a few uh, double teaspoon setups there. Alphazible making a strong statement here versus Mystery as we can see. At the moment, that could be a top out there. Taking in that match handedly at 1-0 series lead in the finals. For Afizipal versus Mystery here. Now Afizipal uh, in a bit of danger here. Mystery coming in with a great uh, opener right there. And uh, too much pressure to handle there. That's going to be a 1-1 one one series tie so far. Going to be a close series. We may have a full 5 game series here. Uh, depending on how long this is going to be drawn out here. Now Afizipal going to set up that deadly uh, DT cannon combo right there. And there goes the top out there soon for Mystery. A miss drop there from the ZP is going to cost him. And that's going to be 2-1. Series lead now for mystery. I'm sorry for Afzible. Afzible gets a two one. My bad. <laughs> but now this is match point for Afzible. Mystery still has a chance to go ahead and tie the series once again to make this a whole five game series, as we can see. Though Afzible doing a nice job of cleaning the boards here a little bit. A missed drop there from that uh, from the JP, so that could cost him a little bit uh, or delay him in those combo setups there. But still, it seems like he's going to put mystery under quite a bit of danger here. Mystery burning off a little bit with those two D spins, and there goes a huge miss drop there from the uh, from the LPs. So that's going to be it there. Uh, three and one series lead. Afizible is now your Tetris Tuesday tournament number seventeen champion. And now, the grand supreme champion of tournament number seventeen. Please welcome. Wait, what? Why did I say 17? <laughs> There's no 17 in his name. I mean, after Zippo. Sorry about that, folks. I have no clue why I said 17. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't know where 17 came from. I saw Mr. FAQ 2018, but I probably got that mixed up a little bit. But anyway, congratulations, after Zippo. Do not leave yet, folks. <laughs> do not leave yet, folks, because I actually do have something, uh, two things to say before we go on. So, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, congratulate Afzipal for that first tournament win there. And I'm going to move on with that three and uh, one series win there in today's uh, tournament here in the finals. I mean, Afzipal wins the tournament. And let's go ahead and officially end it. And a crown Afizible Afizible's today uh Afizible today's tournament champion, my bad. And that's his very first ever tournament championship. So now Afizible is gonna be a Tetris champion on the Discord and also in the Tetris Tuesday tournament history. So big congrats to you, Afizible, uh for being one of those leaders of the new generation of Tetris champions. Alright. So anyway, let's go and talk about uh, some of the things here that we're going to uh, announce here. 
first of all, I will say we are still looking for more uh, Tetris Tuesday staff. So Tetris Tuesday staff, for those of you who are wondering, they kind of help out with editing brackets. You can choose which role in the staff you want, but you can help edit brackets or update sprint times, uh, things like that to help us out uh, make these tournaments run smoothly. So if you want to be a VTV staff, uh, I'm sorry, not, not a staff, but as, as Tetris staff, because VTV staff is different than Tetris staff. Uh, but if you want to be a Tetris staff for every Tetris Tuesday, which is also a good way to get into VTV staff, by the way. But if you want to be a Tetris staff, you can go and DM me on the Discord. DM me on the Discord and we can uh, get your application away and, uh, you know, get that process moving forward. We are very accepting, especially for bracket editors. Those are who we might need the most. Uh, but yeah, feel free to do so. After the stream, you just go, go and talk, contact me and DM me. Uh, tell me what kind of position you want in the Tetris staff team. And uh, we'll get uh, to that with you soon. Now, the next big announcement, obviously, we'll get to here just now, actually. Let me just, uh, let me go ahead and get this going here. One second here, folks. One second. <laughs> uh. All right, so we'll be right back. Let's get the announcement going. Coming live on the Variety TV channel from July 15th to the 19th, VTV proudly presents VTV Summer Splash once again. Summer, Summer Splash, 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 Splash live on this channel for four days straight and four days only. <laughs> Once again, a four day gaming charity marathon filled with many fun challenges and incentives. Many casters streaming all across Twitch on this channel live for four days straight. This year benefiting Hope, Hope Live. Starting at noon PST, Summer Splash 2019, on this channel, an event, a gaming charity marathon that you don't want to miss. VTV Summer Splash 2019. <laughs> Alright, so, anyway, that's, uh, that's it for that announcement, but I will, I will talk about this, uh, Summer Splash here. A little bit more into detail. So for those of you who don't know, uh, VTV Summer Splash is uh, one of our biggest events of the year year on uh, VTV. So this is one of our charity events uh, that we do every six months here. And this year, um, for Summer Splash, we are doing it for Help Hope Live. So for those of you who don't know, what is Help Hope Live? Actually, I'll post a link here to you right now about Help Hope Live. Uh, they work to support uh, community-based fundraising for people with unmet medical and related expenses due to cell and organ transplants or catastrophic Ill injuries slash illnesses. So they help promote a better, healthier life and help people live better by um, helping them provide those medical procedures that they need and those expenses that they need to be covered so they can actually promote uh, bettering them themselves, uh, you know, uh, as far as the health goes. And, you know, helping them live longer, helping them live healthy, happy, and healthily. So, helping them to hope and live. So, Hope Hope Live, definitely a great charity organization that we are proud to be supporting this year at VTV for this Summer Splash. Now, like I said, definitely an event that you don't want to miss. Uh, so, every year we have, um, so what this event is going to be is uh, for four days straight, we're going to have a bunch of different streamers on this channel here taking different time slots and they will be streaming uh, whatever games they choose to do so. And they'll also be doing a fun incentives and challenges uh, like incentives, for, you know, for fundraising for this charity. So this year uh, for the four day charity, uh, this four day marathon, our goal is 500 for uh, Help Hope Live. We can most definitely achieve that goal. So I'm excited to see how that goes on. I'm going to be the one starting out the stream, uh, the Summer Splash, so I'm excited to be starting this off again <laughs> as well. So this is going to be a lit opening ceremony for the VTV Summer Splash. 
Now, if you are, if you want to stream for this marathon and want to be featured in this marathon and stream with us, uh, you can feel free to do so on the Discord. Uh, what you can do is sign up for the marathon to stream for it, uh, or you can DM me on Discord to ask questions or let me know what kind of time slots you want. So go on the Discord and look at the announcements underscore events channel to learn more about this event and how to sign up to be a caster on the event. But also, I will let y'all know here as well, even if you're not a streamer, you can still help in many ways. What you can do is uh, download the image uh, for the Summer Splash and, you know, share with people across the globe. Or you can also go to the Variety TTV Twitter and uh, like and retweet our pin posts about BTV Summer Splash. So get those Twitter triggers out there and let people know uh, all about what the Summer Splash event is going to be. It's going to be fun gonna be exciting and i cannot wait this year for summer splash 2019 so i hope y'all uh are as excited as i am because <laughs> i am very thoroughly excited for this event here this year and it's gonna be something that definitely we uh don't want to miss here so all right so with that being said uh <laughs> btv summer splash from july 15th to the 19th um that's all i have to say about that thank y'all so much for who uh for those people who stayed by a little bit to watch the announcements and learn more about the summary splash but there is obviously more information in the, in the discord so to read up more about that just go in the discord look at the announcements page underscore events so let's give somebody a raid here today uh let's see which vtv caster is live right now and as usual red hawk plays is the only uh vtv caster live so he is part of the vtv casting crew so that means you can uh, go ahead and uh, do a nice little VTV raid with whatever emotes you want on Red Hawk's Plays channel. We're going to send a nice raid over to Red Hawk Plays, another one of our great uh, VTV casters who will also be streaming in this marathon. All right, so let's go ahead and give him a raid. And once again, thank you all so much for joining today's tournament. We are live every Tuesday, um, starting at 2, 2 p.m. Pacific Center time slash 5 p.m. EST. But until next time, folks, what an amazing tournament, and we'll see you next week at 2 p.m. PST for more. Alright, so join me for the raid, and we will see you all next week.